Hi everybody. I'm just going to do a quick video tonight. I have not been feeling very well and um, it's probably, I don't know, half hour before sunset, hour before sunset probably. Uh, but I wanted to come out and just um, show you a couple things that I, uh, I like that I'm seeing out here right now in my garden. I was going to do something else and I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. It was one of those days. Uh, full moon and the bad weather both really hit my body hard. So I'm here and I'm going to show you some pretty cool things. I think they're cool anyway. Most of you that have been around know that I grew purple tree collard this year. Well, I want to show you what this is doing. Look at that. Oh my word, is that not beautiful? Is that not beautiful? Now you know why I planted it next to the purple. <laughs> and in the spring, the new growth is like celadon green. It's real bright green, it's just gorgeous. But anyway, this is, this is so fantastic. It makes a beautiful ornamental. And then I had new sprouts come up down here and they're coloring up with the cold. Uh, this, it, you can do cuttings of that super easy. So I may do some cuttings. I don't know. We'll see what kind of craziness I have to deal with. Um, we haven't had any rain here to speak of until today. And so everything's like bone dry. It's pretty dry. But these guys are still going. We do get some rain here. I've got um, overhead there's fir tree boughs that hang over and act like a roof. The golden bay looks very lovely, doesn't it? I love it. Now, back there, you can't see it, but the rosemary has little dark blue flowers on it right now. They're just beautiful. We have sweet Sicily still looking nice and green. That makes such a lovely ground cover after it blooms. You cut the bloom stems back and you've got those ferny leaves until the frost hits and then they're done. Um, I, this looks kind of fun to me. I don't know why I'm liking this. It, I love the color, I guess. It's so unusual. Uh, that's Solomon Seal. And it really looks nice. I don't know. I guess that's the artist in me, you know? That's the artist in me that does that. Um, everything's l pretty much lost its leaves. The redbud tree. I love that little bird house there. That will be going with me when I when I move, when I sell the house and move. Yes, and you guys will be going too. <laughs> I like my gnomes. I don't know, where did I put my... I was looking for my little owl I've got out here. Anyhow, Carol Mackey is going losing her leaves. That is such a beautiful shrub. I hope to have another one of those one day. The grasses are all going down. This Carex, uh, the Buchananii, is, is looking good um, still, and it will all winter. It'll look pretty good. Yep. Oh, you see those curly Q things there on the, on the fence? I got those at a nursery, kind of like a yard sale that they have every year, and I really like them stuck in the fence like that. They're just kind of a surprise. That's one of the things I like, or I like to do in my garden is have little delightful surprises. Um, it keeps people looking around at things, and me especially. One thing I want to share with you, um, this bird bath right here that I, that I said was a bee waterer, which it is, pollinator water. I mean, everything went to this thing. Probably the cats too, but the birds really liked that. Um, they liked it better than the big one I've got back there. And so I think I may add uh, rocks to the bottom of that one too. Um, in the winter time, if you're, if you have an area that freezes, oh, we got to get this guy out of here. Hi, slug. You're going away. Screw him. Sorry, threw him over in the neighbor's yard. Anyway, um, <laughs> they don't care, it's just grass over there. 
Um, anyhow, get a heater. They don't cost very much. You can get a, um, a heater that you can plug into a, an outdoor cord and have it stay heated all winter long. Just keep it from freezing and you'll have so many birds come into your yard. It's something that I didn't realize would work so well. So if you're trying to host wildlife, that is a real key element is having fresh water when it's freezing out. And the cats, which usually don't drink water inside in, at my house, they will drink water inside in the wintertime when it's frozen outside. So they're probably out here drinking it too. I wanted to show you this. Here, this is the uh, scented geraniums, the peppermint, and, um, oh, come on, Ray Lady Plymouth, that's what that one is, which did not bloom this year. I don't know what's up with that, but it didn't. Um, anyway, and the lemongrass. These are doing really well. They will probably winter over here, but the Grey Lady Plymouth will come back plain green. Just so you know, unless I take cuttings of it, it will come back plain green. And so that's one of those things. Um, little plant nerd thing there. My little bless sign needs to come in and get redone. That'll happen. One plant I'm going to be taking with me is this guy back here. That right there, that's a buckler sorrel. Best sorrel for salads ever. Um, and I can cut it back and it will regrow um, a couple of times a year. I don't cut it back too hard, but you know, just kind of shape it. And yeah, it's really great for that. Another little tree collared. So I've got some for, it's kind of a bloody mess out here, but that's what happens when, when you're disabled the the cane berries are getting some color in them that's pretty nice hi beautiful hello my other beautiful plant this palace castle artemisia this is not one that runs it is strictly a sub shrub very wonderful plant highly recommend it it only gets like about a foot and a half tall um, really a nice plant that little fuchsia right there I'm taking with me. Um, I love that little fuchsia. It's, I can't remember the name of it, gold something or other. Oop. I had to come back here and check on these. I was thinking about these today. This is Athona capensis. And it has a common name, and I can't remember what it is, but it's a trailing plant. I should take that in. Um, this one is blooming right now. I'm su I wonder if the hummingbirds have found that. That's pretty cool. My lovely mums, my florist mum that I grew outside. You know, they people say, oh, florist, m florist mums aren't hardy. They can't grow outside. Well, I got news for you. They do. This is what Grey Lady Plymouth turns into, that scented geranium. Completely hardy, really nice plant that way. Let's see what else we can find here. I'm going to try and wrap this up. Oh, I need to cut. Um, this is a peony, and you can see the spots on the leaves. That's botrytis. I need to take those leaves down and throw them away. If you have peonies that are like that, get rid of the leaves. Throw them in the garbage or burn them. Not worth keeping that botrytis in the soil. It'll live on the leaf material for a long time. These are the iris fetidus. Um, I've talked about these before. A little reminder, they're a great winter interest plant. I'm in zone 8B and they look striking all winter long when they're in the ground. Those will be going with me probably, maybe. <laughs> I'm thinking unless somebody wants to buy them. So this was kind of fun. I didn't, didn't plant this. This is a seedling from last year. That is fun, huh? I love when that happens. And my black Mondo grass looking good still. That stuff, I love this stuff. It's such a great... A great plant and the Brunnera Jack Frost. 
Yep. Well, I'm starting to feel the cold out here, and um, I don't want to... I, I know this isn't very exciting. <laughs> here, it's like, let me show you my grandkids, and I whip out the wallet with 75 pictures, right? Well, I don't have 75 grandkids, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, there were some tips in there. I hope you, you caught. Um, I just wanted to make sure I got a video out today. It's good for me to do this. And also, um, I can share some tips like I did um, about the coming winter and, and the birds and uh, some of the plants and that. If you have plants that are tender and you have a, a freeze, threatening a lot of times you can mulch over the plants if they are like borderline hardy um, and get them to winter over especially if you're in a zone like mine um, if you're one of those places that gets the deep freeze uh, you have my condolences for all the plants that will never come back <laughs> Anyway, this is Patty, the Tinkerer's wife. I need to sign off here. I hope you have a wonderful evening. God bless.